Hey folks, we ain't talking about you just regular old jalapeno poppers. No sir, not in the oven. We're talking about stand them up, stuff them with some shrimp and some smoked catfish and a good cream cheese base that's got a bite and all of it is done right out there on the smoker. We bring in the most flavor to you. I got them loaded and they fixing to go off so you better come on. Woo doggies. Hey, thank y'all for stopping by the backyard on a glorious afternoon it is. And what are we talking about? Remember, stuffed poppers. Now, I'm not talking about them original jalapeno poppers that you split in half, put some bacon and some cream cheese and slip them in the oven. No, we are duding them up, dressing them up, stuffing them with a little what? Smoked shrimp and some smoked catfish. Mm, we're going to bring out that most flavor and we're going to give it a little bite with some horseradish. So come on, woo -wee. let's get started on this one. Two little catfish fillets, but any good whitefish work, crappie, walleye, anything like that you got, you want to put it in there, I guarantee it'll work. But I'm wanting to get a little quicker cook out of this, so I'm just going to take a fillet knife and just go right down the top of them. Now, the Red River Ranch original does work well on this because guess what? It has a little citrus base to it, but guess what other than that? It's got a childproof label on it that we can't get in. Just a little sprinkling on one side because we're going to season this again and look what's going to join the party. Some little shrimpers. Now I use cooked shrimp already pe peeled and deveined because we're just flavoring them with some smoke. This ain't taking long folks so meet me over here to the hasty bake and we'll get them to going. Whew. Smell that goodness coming out of there? Fire's on this side, smoke's on this side. What are we calling it? Indirect. So we're just going to lay them little catfishes right here because we're just wanting to get some flavor of that good cherry and apple wood and a little bit of that oak on all this good shrimpness and catfishes. Shut that lid and guess what? We're going to put together the stuffing for them. So meet me back over here at the table. It's a lot of commotion going on in the kitchen. Well, let's talk about near of the star of the attraction. What is it? The jalapeno green and so pretty and shiny in the evening sun just like his mother wanted him to be he's going to become a star but he has to sacrifice something and what is that his hat yep just take about that much of him off there lay him right there i need you to get a spoon this end of it just push him right down in there i don't want you to pierce the outside of the pepper but i want you to break that membrane loose of them little seeds and everything and then just give it a good reaming and looky there he will hold himself clean and be ready to be a participant in the stuffed jalapeno fur. Well, folks, it's been about three or four minutes, and I guarantee you them shrimpers are smoked and ready to come off here. So, because we just want to give them some of that good smoke flavor, and whew, I can smell it. They do be smelling some of that good. Now, them catfish, all they got to do is get tender enough to chop. So, let's just see what's happening here. Guess what? It is ready to come off there. It is. So, it's what you call perfect timing when everything's done at the same time. And them a little hot. So, back over here we go. Let me shut the lid because we're going to need that heat here in a minute. Shrimp done, catfish smoked, ready to go. Jalapenos are ready to see out of and get stuff they are. But first we need to mix together this goodness that's going to go in there. So. About four ounces of softened cream cheese that we have in there. And I'd be liking to have me some horseradish. So, there goes one, two, and we're going to call that one three for really good. So let me set him over there. Some good prepared horseradish. Some of the W sauce. I ain't even going to try to pronounce it because y'all all the time be getting on to me for the way I be saying it. So that is about the right amount. But we're going to have to have some good local honey because I need a little sweetness to go on here. Or, Shan, could you come just stick your finger in there, sugar? Because I know you're sweet. Some good Spanish smoked sweet paprika. Mm-hmm. I'll be thinking it does some wonders for this little dish right here. It does. Take about that much right there it does. And guess what? Yep, we're going for the old dried version of just original minced garlic. And I would say about that much. Well, cooled off enough to handle they are. Got the little bowl there ready to go. And I need you just to chop them shrimp sort of in bite-sized pieces, but a little bit smaller because we want everything to stuff down 
in that size pretty good so you know what you're working with so just get them in pretty good bite size portions and then go back from there in she goes and then you can use the crumble up method for the catfish you can see that it is what you call just right and ready to be crumbled so just go ahead and get her all crumbled up in there mm. I can already smell the goodness coming out of that bowl. Hey, Big, I need you to come over here and check this for me to make sure it's going to be all right. Can you do that for me? Will this be all right here? Big says that'll work for sure. It will. Mage is on. Oh, you need a little bite, Mage? Duke, are you not going to come have a sample? No, Duke said he's had enough for today. And if y'all hadn't met our good friend Mage here, he joined the family back about Valentine's Day when we had the tremendously cold weather we done saved his life, give him a haircut, and now he owns the whole plantation. Here he does, think he's boss. But he is trying to make fans because he's growing his mustache to look exactly like mine. So y'all bear with me, pups. We're going to go back to work. So I need you to get stirring this together. And we're going to have to have a little binding agent in here because I want to make sure that everything... You know, that gets me to wondering. Let me talk to you folks. Come on up here a little closer to the microphone. When you stuff jalapenos with cream cheese and you get them down there... You know how you get that liquid in the bottom that sort of runs out on you when you try to take a bite? Gets down on your suit and tie and then your wife look at you like this. Yeah, she does because you done made a mess. Well, folks, that is how we're going to cure this with a binding agent to make sure that that doesn't happen. And what is that called? Let me see. That's a hint. Yes, and what did Andy Griffith say? Everything tastes better on a Ritz cracker, it does. So folks, with that concoction there, according to the math, at the level of the sun, weighing 6.38 ounces, taking out two bites of catfish for the pups, we need exactly five, six, seven, eight Ritz crackers crumbled. Yep. Just get them down in there. You can trade this here whisking apparatus. for a spoon apparatus and just go to making sure that all of that is mixed up well. Now I'm gonna have Shan zoom in here in just a minute so you can see that consistency of what we're after. That is what you call pretty thick. But you can see the shrimp and the catfish. That's why we wasn't trying to overpower with just the cream cheese. Just four ounces is all it takes. Now, you remember we didn't season that too much when we started, did we? So. About like that. Well, look here, it says Hasty Bake, it does. Pretty handy little ingenious tool is, but when you remember, if you're gonna get you one of these and you're gonna use one, try to find peppers that are pretty much sort of the same size to where they won't be going all the way down through here. So remember when you're picking out your participants, you need for them to all look pretty close to the right. So here we go, and don't be trying to overload the boat none too soon. Just keep a stuffing, just like you're loading that muzzle loader during deer season. You gotta get the powder packed plumb down to the bottom you got to. Just be careful when you're mashing, try not to split the pepper. Rake off that excess, smooth the cap over, and guess what? That little feller is loaded and ready to do his job. He is, so bear with me while I get the rest of them. Loaded up and ready to go. I have cranked the fire up a little closer to the grill because we're going to start out on the direct side over there. So gently place them right over the coals. And folks, we're going to let them go till we begin to see them blister up pretty good. And then we'll move them back over here on the other side till they all get good and tender and that smoke sort of blends everything. We're going to give them a little more apple wood at this time and just watch. We're just going to sit here and wait on them because they worth waiting on. See y'all in a bit. We stuffed jalapeno peppers with catfish, cream cheese, and some little shrimp. Mm -mm. Now, we're going to let them cool because I guarantee you load them up too quick right now. Mm. 
they'll blow you up, they will. But let's talk about what happened while we was on that there grill. So you see me start out when we placed them there in the jalapeno popper holder from Hasty Bake and put them right on the direct side of heat so you could see them begin to blister and really get some softening to them. When you see that, take them back over there and put them on the indirect side and let's go about 10 minutes more, maybe 12, till we can get everything good and tender. Add you a little more smoke to it because we want to keep that flavor bath going all the way along. So let me give you another little tip that you could be doing. Now you can get them to this point to where they're cool enough to hang on to. Take you an egg wash. Roll them in some panko, deep frown for just a second, about 375 degree oil and get all crispy and guess what you got? A crispy fried stuffed jalapeno. Or you can just lay them right back there on that grill, get your little barbecue sauce, splash them over the top right there. But folks, they ain't nothing wrong with the way they is just right here. Now. It has all got the goodness in there. And I'm sorry, Big, you can't be having, look at him, he giving me that old bad look. You can't be having none of these, Big. I'm gonna have to have a bite. Don't be down on me. Mm. Look at that. Mm. 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 Cheesy, cheesy, spicy, goodness, smoke, jalapeno, catfish. Maybe want to do the swirling little fish dance. Mm -hmm and then go upstream and get me another bite. That's what I'm gonna do. Mm. And when you get down to the bottom of that one, folks, let me tell you now, I didn't got a bite in it too. Well, easy peasy it was, and who, guess what? Remember, everything that we used in that little recipe will be listed in the little link down there below to where you can find it, because folks, some of you be watching this on the big screen TV yard, and we are so proud of you because, hey, we're all family. But you can still get that recipe just because you can't see it under there. Just get on your computer and go to kentrollins.com. Hit on recipe there and it's got them all listed there and you'll see them. But I've been having some trouble. Been having some folks comment to me. Hey, we didn't know you was back on the air. Rewind or do what? Back on the air, folks. We ain't missed a Wednesday and I couldn't tell you how long. But I know some of you have been having some trouble because my good friend Harrison Mantooth said he got unsubscribed and he never did even do it. So make sure sometimes unsubscribe, then resubscribe, hit the little notification bell, because folks, every Wednesday, 2.30 Central Time, we are bringing you love from the backyard or the wagon or everything in the world, mm, because we don't want you to miss out on none of this goodness, because what? Y'all are family does. And remember, folks, we need to keep lifting each other up. That's what we do. Reach down, grab a hold with both hands, lift that neighbor up, give him a hug, because folks, we got to pray for everybody. Let everybody know that everything is going to be okay in this world because that's what it is. It is a great day above the grass. And as always, I tip my hat to all our servicemen and women, all the veterans who are keeping that old flag flying over camp no matter where me and Shannon are at because, whoo, it is a great day. God bless you each and every one, and I'll see you down the loaded, stuffed jalapeno trail. <laughs> Woo-wee! That'll light you up. I like that, I do. If I can get it out of there today. Looky there. What do you do, Shan, when it won't fit? Duke, are you in Major's bed? That bed's not for you. You're too big for that bed. Yeah, you're too big for that bed, buddy. Let's start over, okay?